Measuring job demand is hard. Job postings and traditional or structural labor market information are both useful for finding in-demand jobs, though. They tell us different things about the economy, but when used together in the right ways, we get a better picture of the jobs, businesses, and skills that make your economy run. Think of data as a map. If you wanted to plan a road trip from Seattle to Atlanta, this map would be helpful. It'll tell you how long the trip will take, and you can plan out stops or change the route. But if you want to know where to get a hotel or what parks to check out in Atlanta, you'll use a different map. The national road map isn't better or worse than the street map of Atlanta, they're just used for different purposes. That's how we like to think of LMI and job postings. They answer different questions and are powerful when used together. LMI captures all of the job activity in the economy, but can often leave us wanting more detail on things like desired skills, what companies are hiring, and new or emerging sectors. Job postings can help fill in some of those missing pieces, but they come from whatever postings certain companies have posted and don't represent all jobs equally. In order to use the two together, MZ developed a hires number, which helps us connect the number of jobs posted to the number of jobs hired. For example, from 2010 to 2014, welding jobs in the country rebounded nicely from the recession by growing about 14%. From 2013 to 2014, employers were hiring about 20,000 welders a month. However, over the same time period, employers only posted about 4,000 unique job ads per month. Job postings for welders didn't come close to measuring the actual demand for that job. Here's the bottom line. Traditional LMI and job postings are best used in tandem to understand what jobs and skills are in demand. When local practitioners link these two kinds of data with data on hiring, they can contextualize employer intentions with actual job activity. The result is a better grasp on their local economy. For examples of how practitioners in higher education, workforce and economic development, and the private sector are using LMI and job postings, download the full report here.